In this video, we are going to study the soil moisture irrigation relationship. How soil is related to the irrigation water and it is related to the moisture we are going to see in this video only. See, uh, for uh, explaining this, uh, here you can see the image. In this image, you can see the ground level surface. Above this, the plants can be sown. The roots of the plant uh, can be penetrated up to a certain distance. Then you can see the ground water level. <clears throat> certain level of a water is available under the ground. Hence, it is called as a ground water level. Above this, you can see the various zones or uh, various types of water. Here, you can see the field capacity also. So, let's start. See, after the immediate rainfall or the irrigation water supply, some of the water will drain under the ground, under the ground by gravitational action. So, the water that will be flow under the gravitational action, this is known as a gravity water. After flowing, this water will be stored at the groundwater level or it meets at the groundwater level. So, this water is known as a groundwater. So, water which is below the groundwater level is termed as a groundwater and the water which is available above the groundwater level, it is known as a soil moisture. So, the certain amount of a water which is available above the groundwater level that cannot be meet or that cannot be flow under the gravitational action, it retains at the soil surfaces. Hence, it is called as a soil moisture, the moisture which is present in the soil. The amount of the water which is present in the soil is known as a soil moisture. Again, you can see uh, here, uh, there are two zones. One is intermediate zone or it is also called as a hygroscopic water and the capillary zone or it is also called as a capillary water. So, after application of a water, certain amount will flow directly under the gravitational action. It meets to the groundwater level. But the some amount of the water which is retained above the groundwater level, what happens with this water? See, some of the part of the water can be extracted by the roots of the plant. The distance or the depth up to which the roots of the plant can be penetrated and through this zone only, this roots of the plant can extract sufficient quantity of a water for its maturity. It is called as a root zone or soil zone depth. Through this depth only, the plants can get the sufficient quantity of water for its maturity. Okay. So, after this, after this, some of the water which is retained at the soil surfaces by the molecular action or by the loose chemical bonds. So, this water again classified into a two zones. One is intermediate zone or it is also called as a hygroscopic water or it, a second zone, it is called as a capillary water. You can see the capillary water is available above the or initially above the ground water level. So, the water in this zone which is retained or the soil moisture which is retained by the molecular action by the surface tension against the gravitational force which is retained above the surface of a groundwater level. So, if 
we saw the plant on the low lying area through this zone plant can get sufficient water for its maturity we had already discussed in the advantages of a irrigation when we saw the crops on the low lying area of a canal for the timber production or for the timber wealth we had already discussed that so uh, even also in the types of irrigation in the natural subsurface irrigation type in this also when the water is available or the ground water level is uh, at the sufficient at the uh, sufficient high level so if we sown the crop on the low lying area through this area plant can extract the sufficient quantity of water for its maturity so this is the capillary water or this is the capillary zone which is stands by the surface tension against the gravitational forces what why it is happened because of the molecular attraction uh, you had already studied this in the fluid mechanics one also in the properties of a fluid we have a one of the property that is the surface tension how uh, the surface tension will act uh, we are already studied in the fluid mechanics so this uh, phenomena will be uh, work in this soil moisture irrigation relationship so through this uh, zone also if we uh, saw the uh, crop on the low lying area we can get the sufficient quantity of water for the maturity of the crop but the second zone that the intermediate zone or the hygroscopic water in this zone uh, the soil molecules is retained by uh, the water which is available in the soil that the moisture is retained by the loose chemical bonds so this water is not uh, or not helpful for the extraction or it is not uh, uh, helpful for the extracting the water it is uh, not uh, drained under the gravitational force so this water is uh, this zone is compacted one so it, the water can not uh, can neither be extracted or nor be drained out so this is called as a intermediate or hygroscopic water so field capacity is uh, defined as or uh, we can define the field capacity uh, the moisture uh, content of the soil after free drainage has removed most of the gravity water so again we are going to discuss all these points in proper manner but uh, by observing and by judging this image you can understand how the soil is related to the irrigation water it is related to the moisture which is available in the soil so this is the relationship the question will be asked in the university question paper for the 10 marks that is explain the soil moisture irrigation relationship so you have to draw the diagram for this uh, you can draw this diagram also so by drawing this diagram you can uh, one by one you can explain the point what is gravity water what is ground water then what is hygroscopic water what is capillary water what is field capacity what is soil moisture so you can easily explain all this point and if you had written or you are uh, going to write down all the this point you will get the full marks so let's start uh, already we had uh, discussed and we are uh, got the knowledge or uh, got the uh, some certain idea about the soil moisture irrigation relationship after observing this image but let's uh, discuss more or further that the what is exactly or what are the other component which is which are included in the soil moisture irrigation relationship so as we have discussed that water below the water table it is known as a ground water and the water above the water table it is known as a soil moisture so extending down from the ground surface is the soil zone or root zone you can see that uh, you can uh, recall this uh, image uh, the depth through which the water can be extracted by the roots of the plant this zone is called as a soil zone or a root zone depth 
so it is very much important that uh, through which only the plant can get the sufficient for the for its maturity say again uh, if the water falls over the ground some of the water will flow under the gravitational action or it will meets at the ground water table it is called as a gravity water so uh, the rest of the water uh, see some of the water can be extracted by the plant roots and some of the water will drained under the gravitational force or gravitational flow it is known as a gravity water but sometimes some of the water will retain at the soil surface after draining also or after uh, draining out under the gravitational force also some of the uh, water some of the moisture will be available at the soil surfaces so this type or this uh, moisture can be classified under two zones based on the or depending upon the loose chemical bond and the molecular attraction so how we are going to define this let's discuss the water zone which is attached to the soil molecules by surface tension against the gravitation force and through this zone plant can extract the water by capillary action only this zone is called as a capillary water or capillary action we had already discussed and we had already seen the image of the uh, the uh, image of the soil moisture irrigation relationship the second zone uh, in which the water uh, the which is attached to the soil molecules by loose chemical bonds through this zone water cannot be removed by cap capillary action or it is not available to the plant so this is intermediate one this is not uh, this is not useful to the plant also and this through this we cannot uh, extract the water so it is known as a hygroscopic water or intermediate zone so after studying this we can uh, define the field capacity in other manner also this is defined as the water through these zones which cannot be easily drained under the gravitational force is known as a field capacity so the field capacity is generally taken as for the 2 to 5 days we can generally express this in a days and it is uh, adopted for the 2 to 5 days besides this uh, there are uh, another uh, or there are certain technical um, constants or we can say the other parameters which are included in the soil moisture irrigation relationship one of the important parameter is permanent wilting point see what is permanent wilting point wilt means what uh a wilt means it is uh, it is its capacity is over it will not take the sufficient or more water for its growth so it is the water content at which plant can no longer extract sufficient water for its growth see if the plant does not get sufficient water to meet its needs it will wilt permanently a plant is considered to be permanently wilted when it is called as a permanent the plant is permanently wilted when it will not regain its turgidity even after being placed in a saturated atmosphere where little or no consumptive water use occurs the permanent wilting point depends upon the rate of water used by the plant the depth of a root zone and the water holding capacity of a soil permanent wilting point is higher in the hot climate as compared to the cool climate it is um, at the permanent wilting point the films of water around uh, soil particles are held so tightly that the plant roots cannot extract the enough moisture at sufficient rate 
to satisfy the transpiration requirement of the plant resulting in the wilting of the plant generally the percent permanent wilting percentage can be estimated by dividing the field capacity by a factor varying from 2 to 2.4 depending upon the amount of the silt in the soil by using this formula you we can find out the permanent wilting point but for the most of the soil the wilting coefficient is about 150 percentage of the hygroscopic water so this is the permanent wilting point now the available moisture the difference in the water content of the soil between field capacity and the permanent wilting point it is known as a available moisture or available water in the soil soil moisture deficiency the it is water required to bring the soil moisture content of the soil to its filled capacity it is known as a soil moisture deficiency then the readily available moisture it is known as or it is that portion of available moisture that is most easily extracted by the plant and it approximately 75% of our available moisture generally it is available in the root zone depth through which uh, in which uh, the plant extracted the sufficient quantity of water for its maturity so this zone is or in this zone we can say the there is a readily available moisture is available so this is something or uh, this is the uh, about the soil moisture irrigation relationship if this question will be asked for the 10 marks you have to write down all these points from the gravity water definition up to or from the ground water definition up to the readily available moisture including the diagram of the soil moisture irrigation relationship so we had seen or we had studied the quality of irrigation water how we had decided being the engineer the quality of irrigation must be fulfill the or fulfill all the requirement likewise the soil characteristics also good for the better production of the crop so this two parameters uh, how they will relate to each other we are already studied in this video so i hope you will understand uh, you are already understand this uh, the topic that is soil moisture irrigation relationship thank you